Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Recently I made a few videos about spring summer 2021 fashion trends. I will link them below, so make sure to check them out if you haven't seen them. But in today's video, I want to talk to you about anti-trends of this season. So if this sounds interesting to you, please continue watching and hit that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested to know how to always look chic, stylish, put together, and the most importantly, confident. Let's get started. The anti-trend number one would be buying fast fashion. If you probably noticed, the world is turning towards sustainability, and not just in fashion, but in every other aspect in life. So please keep that in mind when you are shopping for your clothing. How you can support the trend for sustainability. First of all, you can start buying from the websites like Real Real, Poshmark or eBay. There you can find a lot of pre-owned items as well as completely new items with tags, but the price would be much, much sweeter than it was originally. As you know, uh, fashion has cycles and it's being repeated commonly every 12 years, but for some trends even shorter than that. So if you are looking for something very specific, the chances that you find it on those websites are 99% just because it already was trendy at some point. Another way of supporting sustainability would be donating your clothing or reselling your clothing, especially, you know, if you have something that you worn just once, or maybe you have something that uh, you're hanging in your closet completely new with tags. Maybe just give yourself one hour during the weekend to photograph those items and list them on eBay and Poshmark. I would highly recommend those two websites because their commission is much less than on Real Real. Another way of supporting sustainability would be thrift shopping. A lot of Instagram accounts with cool vintage pieces that you might see were sourced, were thrifted from the local vintage stores. Of course, they already did all work for you and they went to the store, they thrifted, they spent hours probably searching for those hidden gems, but this is the way of those pieces getting on their Instagram pages and being sold up to 10 times more than they would be sold in thrift store. So please don't hesitate of checking your local vintage stores. The second anti-trend would be connected with buying one season pieces that, you know, would be hot, like hype pieces. Here are some examples for you on the screen. Probably you've seen a lot of pictures of them on the Instagram and on the internet. So those hype pieces, uh, they're very trendy and relevant, but just for one season. And I would highly recommend you to find the substitute for those pieces. For example, those famous Prada combat boots. They are amazing, they look gorgeous, but at the same time, it is one season piece, just because it's so noticeable and it's so easy to remember it. Next season, you will be wearing them. People would be thinking, okay, she's wearing the boots from the past season or like two seasons ago. So what I would recommend you to do instead is just get yourself a classic biker boot that will never be out of style, that would have just more timeless look and prevent you from looking like you're wearing uh, pieces from past seasons. And actually, what's also important to mention here is developing and working on your personal lifestyle. I've made another video for you guys and I'm leaving a link, link up here as well as in the description below about how to find your personal style and this would be very helpful for you when it comes to shopping. A little example that I want to show you, uh, probably you all uh, know this brand at Amina Moadi and they became very popular over the past year on Instagram. This is the example of uh, one trend, one season trend. But why this pair works for me? As you noticed probably around me, uh, there are a few options of the shoes uh, that telling you something about my personal style. I do love pieces with 
crystals and in bright colors when it comes to shoes so here's aquazura pair in a uh, bright like mustard yellow color with the crystal here here is another pair from malon Soliers, uh in like bright pink color with another crystal detail another pair would be from dolce in like pastel pink color but with it whoops Another pair would be from Dolce in pastel pink color like Dusty Rose but with a huge crystal here. Even when it comes to flats you can see that I have like rockstar boots with their stars in black leather uh, but still with a lot of crystals. Here is another option the Mio Mio flats again like uh, with the crystal details. So basically you can see that one of the signature elements of my personal style is the shoes with crystals in fun color. So that's why this Amina Muadi shoes will be relevant even after irrelevant for me personally even after this uh, huge obsession with the shoes will be over and now let's get down to specifics anti-trend number three would be anything tailored first of all i want to bring your attention to classic white button down short probably you're familiar with this look and please stop buying it stop wearing this just because it gives you such office wipes and not fashionable wipes in this season and actually not just in this season but it's the direction that is been growing more and more with every season in the fashion it's it all comes to like the relaxed feet their baggy silhouette it's not about tearing right now so uh, when it comes to button down short please substitute the classic one with the oversized like the boyfriend uh, style button down short and you can easily go to any men's department and just grab a white button down short and that would be an easiest way to achieve that oversized look i highly recommend you to visit h&m store and get easy iron men's button down short this same goes towards the blazers forget about your tailored look blazer and get yourself a dead suit blazer like boyfriend style blazer with an oversized look oversized feel again you can easily go to your husband's boyfriend your brother's closet and uh, go through their blazers and pick yourself one or you can go to the men's store and also try a couple or you can literally just google oversized blazer and uh, if you're looking for like you know fun bright colors you will find a lot of options online the anti-trend number four would be the biker shorts oh my god i still see people wearing them so the way how you can substitute this trend is to wear bermuda shorts instead here are some examples for you on the screen and actually another way if you really like that tailored biker shorts feel you can get the cat suit uh you know with their with those bike shorts but it will be one piece garment and you would need to start with the oversized blazer you know to keep the to keep your look balanced last but not least trend anti-trend number five is skinny jeans like i said earlier this current season and the coming seasons in the nearest future will all be about relaxed feet not tailored so please put your skinny jeans away and get yourself a pair of straight leg jeans or wide leg jeans and actually the best example of the person who wears those kind of jeans the best is victoria beckham and here are some pictures for you but also please feel free to uh, go to the pinterest or google images to uh, research more images and i feel like it's such versatile piece that you could style in so many ways and actually guys please let me know down in comments if you want me to make a video about how to style wide leg jeans all right guys in this video we talked about five anti-trends for spring summer 2021 season and 
the ways how you can substitute them. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I release a new video every Friday and I will see you very soon. Bye!